A new report says there were warning signs several weeks before a natural gas explosion killed a 12-year-old Dallas girl. The house where Michelita Rogers lived exploded February 23rd. Today, the NTSB, that's the entity that's investigating the explosions, released a preliminary report that reveals more about what the gas company knew and when it knew that information. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live in Northwest Dallas. Lori. Steve, this report says that leaks were first detected in this neighborhood January 1st. That is nearly two months before the explosion that killed 12 year old Misha Lita Rogers here. And it raises new questions about why gas was not shut off to this neighborhood before the explosion. Before this home blew up, Atmos had warning signs. The Rogers family did not. According to the NTSB report, the family of 12-year-old Misha Lita Rogers told investigators they did not smell any natural gas before the explosion. The report says the rotten egg odor may have been stripped from the gas as it traveled through soil. The family did hear popping sounds the night before, but they could not figure out what was causing the sound. At the same time, crews from Atmos were already in the neighborhood investigating two other gas-related incidents on an adjacent street, including an explosion that started with similar popping sounds. All three homes share a main steel pipeline, which the NTSB later determined was cracked after running a pressure test. County Judge Clay Jenkins says he wants answers about missed warning signs in this neighborhood and how Atmos is deciding when to replace old cast iron in steel pipelines across Dallas. We need to really be able to know all the, that there is to know about that risk model, what goes into it, and uh, we need people to look at that and tell us whether that is as good as it can be so that we don't have another tragedy like this. After the explosion on Espanola Drive, gas was immediately shut off and evacuations were ordered. But the NTSB report says Atmos had already detected leaks in the neighborhood as early as January 1st. That, according to Jenkins, adds to the urgency of replacing older pipelines in Dallas with more flexible plastic pipe in five years. If our goal was to be cast iron free by 2023, why don't we become cast iron free well before 2023 and become completely um, everything but polyprop free uh, by 2023? Um, that, that would be, you know, I think a goal and, and we can have that give and take. Emma says it prioritizes a pipe replacement based on age, materials, leak history, and other factors. After a lot of pressure, Atmos is finally revealing to residents who call what kind of pipeline is next to their home or office. Jenkins is pushing for a searchable map to make it easier for residents to find out what types of pipelines they're around.